Hi, second graders. It's Miss Rizelle. Happy Tuesday. Today, we're going to go over our brand new vocabulary words for the week that go along with our story, Diary of a Spider. So, let's get started. I have a couple of pictures here. Hmm, let's try to figure out what is the mystery vocabulary word. I see a fly over here. Noticing that I see some butterflies, a dragonfly, ladybug, praying mantis, ants. What do all of these have in common? Six legs. Let's find out. Drum roll, please. Our first word is insects. Give yourself a pat on the back if you knew it was insects. Ants, flies, and bees are all insects. They all have six legs. Butterflies are also considered insects. There's lots and lots of other types of insects as well. Insects are very small animals with six legs and three body parts, and they may have wings. In Spanish, let's learn a Spanish word. Insects are insectos. Everyone say it. Insectos. Insects are nouns. They are animals. You can touch it. Here is insect put into a sentence. An insect flew around my head. Can you think of a sentence using the word insect? Okay, here's our next word. There's three illustrations up here, and I want you to think for a second. What do all of these have in common? Well, I'm noticing that this woman isn't paying attention, and it looks like she's about to fall right into the sewer. Yikes! Would that be really safe? Probably the complete opposite of safe, right? I see a skull and crossbones. Hmm, and this scuba diver is holding on for dear life because it looks like a shark is near him. Does that look safe? Mm -mm. Let's see what vocabulary word do you think it could be? Drum roll, please. Dangerous. Everyone say dangerous. It's a big word. Dangerous. That's three syllables long. Be careful, a bee sting can be dangerous. It makes some people sick. Something that is dangerous is not safe and it may cause harm. What are some dangerous things that you need to watch out for? Say us a few things out loud. Anything that is not safe, you want to be careful because it could be dangerous and cause you harm. Dangerous is an adjective. It's a describing word for a noun. It is dangerous to not wear a seatbelt. So you always want to be safe and wear your seatbelt when you get into the, into the car. Here's our next word. Let's figure out what do these picture clues all have in common? What's happening? Hmm, I'm seeing it looks like this person is afraid of this Frankenstein. Almost looks like he's running away. Ah, a spider. Based on the look, I can make an inference that he is afraid of spiders. Yikes, he looks afraid as well. Hmm, what do you think is our vocabulary word? Drum roll, please. Scare. Everyone say scare. Sk air. Scare. Cockroaches will run away if you scare them. They frighten easily. Now, I would probably be more scared of the cockroach than the cockroach would be of me. Looks scary, even though we're a lot bigger than it. If you scare someone, you make him or her feel afraid. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Let's check in. Do these things scare you? A loud sound would scare me. Bad storms? A snake? A spider? Two thumbs up for Miss Rizal. I'm terrified of spiders. 
And if you can scare someone or something, you can do it. It is a verb. A verb is something you can do. I scare my sister with a fake spider. Do you think of a sentence using the word scare? Wonderful. Here's our next vocabulary word. I see three pictures. What do they all have in common? I'm seeing that this person looks like he or she stepped on something. I have schema or prior knowledge about spider webs. They want to trap their prey in their web. And it looks like this person is trapped in that spider web. Maybe hand got stuck in some type of liquid, glue, or maybe gum? Hmm, what do you think is our vocabulary word? Drum roll, please. Let's reveal sticky. Everyone say sticky. A spider web is sticky. Bugs get caught and they can't fly away. If you've ever walked through a spider web before, you would have some prior knowledge that it is really sticky, really stringy, and really hard to get off. Yikes. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Have you ever walked through a spider web before? Something that is sticky attaches to other things easily. Thumbs up if it's sticky. Thumbs down if it is not sticky. Gum. Sticky. A chair. Not sticky. A bell? Paper? No, paper's not usually sticky unless you put glue on it, right? Jelly? Jelly can be sticky. Tape? Mm -hmm. Glue? Yarn? No. Sticky is an adjective. It is a describing word for a noun. Here is sticky in a sentence. I walked through a sticky spider web. Sticky is describing the, the noun, the web. We have three pictures here. And then the first one, the guy is plugging his nose probably because it stinks. And the second picture, it looks like it's old food. Flies are coming around it, yucky. This looks like an egg with bad smells coming out of it. You have to wear a mask to be around it. Ugh. Our word is, drumroll please. Rotten. Everyone say rotten. Rotten. Ugh. A housefly eats rotten or spoiled food. So if something is rotten, it is spoiled. It's no longer good. If something is rotten, it is spoiled or bad. Okay, are these items rotten? Thumbs up, yes. It's rotten. Thumbs down, no. It's not rotten. An orange that you just picked. Not rotten. Milk that you left out for a day. Rotten. I wouldn't want to drink that if it was sitting out all day. Milk needs to be in the refrigerator, right? A glass of water. No. A moldy sandwich. Ugh, yes. Rotten is an adjective. It is a describing word for a noun. The rotten sandwich stunk so bad. And up here I have a sentence with rotten. The eggs were rotten and smelled terrible. Rotten is describing the eggs. Okay. Hmm. Look at these picture clues. Looks like this friend over here is shouting. And then this guy's like, ah, not so loud. The emoji in the middle. <gasps> Everyone make that face. Ooh, and then a roller coaster. Think about what's happening in all three of those picture clues. All right, drum roll, please. Screaming. Everyone give a fake scream, not loud, so it's not scaring anyone at home. <laughs> If you see a wasp, walk away quietly. Don't run away screaming. If someone is screaming, he or she is making a loud, high-pitched noise. 
Why might an insect make someone run away screaming? Maybe they're afraid of it. All right, look at these picture clues. I wonder what our vocabulary word could be for this. All right, drum roll, please. Breeze. Everyone say breeze. I can see here that it looks like the wind is moving this tree, blowing the leaves around, breeze in the clouds. A ladybug came in when a breeze blew open the window curtains, and you can see that the curtains have moved in the wind. A breeze is a light, gentle wind. In Spanish, the word breeze is brisa. Everyone say it. What does a breeze feel like? Be cooler. You can't see the breeze, but you can see things moving in the breeze, right? It is a noun. It is a thing. I felt a cool breeze outside, so I put my jacket on. And our very last word. I see that there are people holding up ten, tens, almost like they are giving someone a score or a rating. Over here, it looks like these three people are not being kind to this girl over here. So maybe they're talking badly or not including her. Either way, I don't like it. This person looks like she's thinking not so great thoughts maybe about this person. So this is probably the trickiest one of the week. So here it is, drum roll please. Everyone say judge, judge. Look carefully before you judge or decide what this picture shows. So to judge means to decide what you think about someone or something, okay? Now let's think about it. Which do you judge? Is a banana or an orange sweeter? Shout out your answer. Do you think a banana is sweeter or an orange? Great, that's your opinion. So which do you judge? Is a game or a bike ride more fun? Choose game or bike ride. You decide. And that is your opinion. So you are judging. Now, do carrots or peas taste better? Which do you judge? Carrots or peas? Awesome. To judge is a verb. You also might be thinking of a judge in a courtroom. That can be a noun, a person. We're not talking about that type of judge this time. That is a multiple meaning word. This judge we are talking about as a verb this week. So in a sentence, to use it in a sentence, it is to judge from what he said, he was very disappointed. So to judge something means to decide on something. We're going to jump in and look at what our seesaw vocabulary activity looks like for today. Great job learning your new vocabulary with me. Tuesday, 929, reading, Diary of a Spider Vocabulary. Step one, choose two words from the vocabulary list. Write each of the words in word box number one and number two. Use the text tool to write a sentence for two of the words that you've chosen. Underline the vocabulary word and make sure you used capitals and punctuation at the end of your sentences. And then click check to submit to your teacher. Please see the example shown. So I have provided an example for you. This is an example from lesson one vocabulary that we've already done weeks ago. This chose the vocabulary word drooled. So I wrote it in word box number one. I needed to come up with a sentence that included the word drooled correctly. My dog Kramer drooled on my arm. And as you can see, I underlined it or you may highlight your word. Then I chose the word row. And then I used row correctly in a sentence. Our desks in our classroom were in a row. And I underlined it. You can find your words up here. Okay, so now that we've seen the example and what to do, now you're going to do the same thing for lesson four vocabulary. Okay, so let's read our words together. Insects, dangerous, scare, sticky. Rotten, screaming, breeze, judge. Your job is to choose two different words from this box 
and use them correctly in a sentence. All right, boys and girls, enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. I'll see you soon.